and thank you so much for coming back to my weekly vlog. I was supposed to do this outside, but it's so freaking windy here today, so I have to do it from the inside. I'm back in LA. I was in New York for 10 days, I think it was. New York was freezing cold, and it was really like a shock for my body to come back there um and find all my winter coats again because i've been in la for so long and it's so much warmer here so this weekend i had the honor i have to say to meet some of the biggest legends out there michael kane morgan freeman and alan arkin what gives you guys a thrill these days a thrill yeah you what gives us a thrill these days yeah like what you makes you excited dead. you walked down here <laughs> yeah uh, what see, you, you stay there, there right? look at what is it. Actually, starting to change color. Our <laughs> yeah. whole attitude the is thrill. changing. What, you don't believe that? Oh, uh, guys get the thrill. I mean, the three of them together is like, oh my God. So I went to see the movie first, as I always have to do. Every night before we do the interviews, uh, we have to watch the movie, obviously, so we know what we're talking about. The next morning, my check in time for the interviews were 11 o'clock. And I missed my first subway, so I was a little devastated. I was going to be late. Damn it, just missed the train. <sighs> Have to wait another seven minutes. The interviews were at the Whitby Hotel uptown on 54th Street. And I got there, and I was on time actually, I was there at 11. And then they were like, okay, we're, um, you're okay, we're, we're running a little late, so you can just sit down and relax. I was just told that I have to stay here until 4, and it's 11. Waiting, 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 waiting. I do hate the waiting of this job, and it's always happening. It's like 90% of the times you just sit and wait and wait and wait. Anyways, the good thing was that I got really, really good interviews this time. Um, or, I don't know, really, really good. I don't know. I, I just enjoyed it so much. It was such a pleasure to meet these three guys. They've been around for so long. I actually calculated that they've been around for 246 years altogether. And they're so funny. They don't take themselves so seriously. And that's what I love when people get older. Most people, at least, they don't take themselves seriously anymore. For young people in Hollywood, you know, they're so trained, they're media trained. And it's like, it's like you push a button and you get an answer. So I really enjoy talking to all the people. Actually, I have to say something after that, because there are some really interesting and amazing young actors out there. And some of them are great to interview. So that was a little generalization, and I'm sorry about that. I meant that some young actors are like that. Um, but... That being said, I always prefer interviewing older people because they're, they're themselves. And that's something that these three guys were. They were really honest and very funny. I talked to them about happiness. I talked to them about fame, which I always find very interesting if they enjoy it now or if they enjoyed it more when they were younger and things like that. It ain't all it's cracked up to be. Oh yeah, when you're young, you look at people getting a lot of attention and getting money and fame and just and that made them happy. It doesn't make anybody happy. I, I've never met a person, any, anybody who, who made it happy. Uh. Um, and then I spoke to Anne Margaret. Do you know her? She is a really big star from the 50s and 60s and 70s maybe as well. She used to even date Elvis Presley. I mean, how cool is that? And she told me this amazing story when she was singing in front of John F. Kennedy. And, oh, she's so amazing. JFK's uh, birthday years ago. And I was very young. And the audacity, I say, <laughs> baby, won't you please come home? Ah, only a really young person would have the audacity. Uh.
Someone asked me last time about my path as a journalist and I would have to tell you that it's very, it's, I didn't do this, you know, the, the traditional way. I did a degree in teaching a long time ago and then I moved to London for three years where I worked in sales. I don't know, really random. I just wanted to travel and live abroad. Um, and obviously I'm from Norway, so that's where I did my degree in teaching. Then I was back in Norway and then I remember I was frustrated. I was like, what am I going to do with my life? I don't know what I want to be. I moved back from London. I was broke. I didn't have a job anymore. And I felt like, oh, I just really need to figure out something I want to do that makes me happy and excited every day. And I was like, I told my brother, I remember I said, you know, maybe I, maybe I should be a journalist. I always liked writing. And he's like, well, don't just say you want to be a journalist. Then you have to start writing. Just start writing something. And I was like, hmm, okay. I started doing that and I went traveling a bit and I wrote stories for several different magazines and then I got something published and I was so excited. It was a big, one of the biggest days of my life, I think, when someone said, hey, we want to pay you for that and do you have more stories? We love the way you write. And I was like, yes. So long story short, uh, 10 years ago, I decided to move to New York. So I did. And um, just because I love New York so much and I was like, hey, I'm going to, I can do freelancing from here. So I started freelancing. I wrote to all these, uh, I wrote for a lot of different newspapers at the time. And um, by accident or by coincidence, uh, this, um, this newspaper asked me to interview Samuel L. Jackson because he was coming out with a new movie called Jumper. And uh, I did, I was so nervous. And then I continued doing interviews like that the, from for the newspaper. And then I had a friend who worked for a TV show and she was like, hey, can you do TV interviews for us as well? Because we get invited to a lot of junkets in New York and we can't travel there all the time. So it would be great if you could do it for us. And then I was like, yeah, I'm on. I'm hey, what is your last name? Q. Uh, FLA is my last name. F F FLA? I don't know why I'm wondering what it is. <laughs> Her name is just very interesting. <laughs> Say it again. Uh, my first name is Shashti. 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 Do you have a short nickname? I call myself Kirsty. Kirsty? Um, okay, that's your name. Now I would not know if I saw that. I'd go Kajersti. Kajersti. <laughs> flaw. Everyone does that. Do they? That's we why I say Kirsty. Kirsty. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a Kirsty. I do. Pretty oh, color purple. Yeah, it's been a long time and I've learned so much in those 10 years I've been interviewing celebrities. You have no idea. When I look at the old stuff I did, I'm like, oh my God, what was I thinking? But uh, you learn a lot when, you know, when you do TV stuff because you can watch yourself afterwards and you can think, you know, that's something I should have done differently. That's something I definitely is not going to do again. And you, you keep learning and it's a great learning experience and, you know, yeah. I also have to say that um, I'm so happy that so many people watched my vlogs. Um, the numbers are getting up and I'm really excited about that. And I also have something else that I've been working on for a little bit that I will release once a week as well. So just keep coming back to my channel, please. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope I can help you guys to if there's anything, you know, if any of you want to get into this field or if you want to be a journalist or if you have any questions about, you know, the best way to approach famous people, I don't know. Uh, yeah, in general, I just really, really love that you come back and that you share things with me and then you put it in the comment section. Basically, that's it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope that you do and come back soon. Bye from LA.